Agroecology is essentially one way to use the resources of nature more efficiently. Um, we have to um, reduce the dependency of agriculture on external inputs that are themselves linked to fossil energies and we are running out of those and so we have to invent something different. So essentially agroecology needs to be scaled up because it's the only way to have sustainable food systems in the next few years and really um, there will be at some point no choice so we have to plan for this. It can be done on a quite large scale um, and some agroforestry programs for example do exist on a very large scale in some African countries. However, it is clearly uh, the case that it's easier to achieve at a small scale by small farmers who are linked to the land and can more than on large-scale um, um, surfaces um, uh, practice the kind of complementarity between different, different elements of nature, the kind of um, complex farming systems uh, that agroecology is, is characterized by. So I think the big challenge is really to um, first, uh, where it is still possible to support um, to strengthen small-scale family agriculture because that is where agroecology can perform its best results and in other uh, regions where peasants have for the most part disappeared where uh, farming is done on very large scale it is possible to move to some type of agroecology which may be much more difficult to achieve simply because um, on the large scale managing the f diverse farming systems is, is something quite, quite difficult to do. Um, where it has succeeded, it has been often the result of states putting in place policies that favor um, the organization of farmers, that allow them to share knowledge amongst themselves by, for example, farmer to farmer, farmer to farmer, um, exchange systems, by farmer field schools, by horizontal dissemination of knowledge um, for a type of agriculture, agri agroecology, which is very knowledge intensive um, and which is less intensive in the use of external inputs. So essentially, governments must invest in the sharing of knowledge, in the training of farmers in ways that are horizontal because the type of knowledge that one farmer needs in one environment will not correspond to the type of knowledge that can be developed in laboratories that may be suited for other regions. And so agroecology needs to be localized, it needs to be um, bottom-up, it needs to be um, uh, innovations developed by the farmers themselves and then shared amongst themselves, for which social organization is absolutely key. And I think that is really the, the, the key recipe to succeed in, in scaling up agroecology. It is transfers of knowledge it is participatory um, um, plant breeding, it is scientists working with farmers in order to develop um, the best use of, of nature we can by these agroecological techniques.